Alright, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Uh, <laughs> I know it's been quite a while. I've had some stuff in the real world to attend to, but we're back, and today, you've already read the title, we're gonna do some nonsense with thrusters. Alright, so today we're going to fly like Iron Man, and we're going to make a working drone. So Iron Man is the simplest one here, and I'm just doing it first because it's it only takes a few seconds. You get your thruster spawner, and uh, like always, all mod links will be in the description, so if you see something you like, um, check down below. So you spawn some thrusters on your hands, select them, spawn in a thruster activator, and this lets you toggle your thrusters. And then there's a few settings that you'll need here. So to make sure that the thrusters aren't throwing your hands all around, what I do is I use the Spider-Man mod, and I turn on spider strength and press apply. And then we go to our thruster settings and I'm setting the thruster force to around 2400 and I'm using the acceleration force mode. And that's usually good enough. So you just point your hands where you want to go and you're off. Now, technically this is more like Superman flight because it is thrusting you where your fists are pointing. Um, but I have found that it's a little more reliable. And just one last little tidbit of uh, info with this one is, if you want to have more of a hovering flight system, but limit your max velocity, uh, what you can do, let's see if I can find it, yeah. You can use the dampener mod, and then what we'll also get here is a welding gun. So I recommend either the gravity welder or the uh, Gmod weld tool mod. So, all you do is you get two dampeners, and you just attach them straight to your uh, thrusters on your arms. Uh, let's see. There we go. Now with super strength, they don't dampen much, but they will dampen the motion from your rockets. So if we get our activator now, first of off you'll see we need a little more rocket power to get around, but if we stop, we sort of hover down to the ground, so that can be pretty good if you want to be much more controlled, if you want to do some maybe some gunplay in the air, um, but it will prevent you from going very, very fast. And just as an example, if we crank this up like crazy, you'll see you kind of almost immediately accelerate because we have a ton of force, but then it keeps you at that speed. And again, yeah, when you stop, it's very predictable, slow movement. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to work on the ultimate drone. And it's a pretty simple setup, aside from a couple steps. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our thruster spawner, thruster activator, we're going to get a camera and tablet, a gravity welder, and the Gmod welder. And then we're going to get an object that will be our base for our drone. So I'd like to use the Viking shield. And uh, we also want some guns we can attach to our drone. So I'm going to get an Uzi for that. And yeah, this is basically what we need. So first things first, we can just set up our uh, thrusters for our drone. So we just take our shield, put some thrusters in an X shape. and then change it to selector mode and select those. Okay, so what we're gonna do next here is we're going to weld together a little uh, control for our drone. So what I like to do is attach a thruster activator to a lead pipe. We orient it upwards and find our welder. Here we go. Change that to entangle rotation mode. Oops. And then what we do for this is we hold our control upright and then we line it up with our drone and we say entangle the rotation between the shield and our controller. And what this is, does is it lets us rotate our drone manually uh, from a distance. 
And that's one half of our control. The other half is I actually want to make it so we have a camera that instead of rotating with this, it rotates with our head. So while we fly our drone, we can look around and this tablet will be uh, sort of welded up to our head. So if we look up and look around, we'll see what the camera's seeing. And this is actually pretty simple. So what we need to do here is we need to take our camera, set it upright on the ground, do another entangle rotation weld between the camera and the tablet. And instead of having them straight, we're gonna tip the tablet up about 45 degrees. Like so. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this camera and we're going to ball and socket weld it to our drone. And the order that you weld this in is important, so make sure that you are selecting the drone first and then part of the camera. And now we have a camera attached to the drone, but as we look around, we can look independently of the drone. And this camera, we can just simply weld to our character's head. So just weld mode. Pick it up. And then your character's head collider is a little hard to hit, so just make sure you maybe get that first. I recommend you point this around your ear. And then we'll put it a bit above our vision. So we'll have room to look straight, but if we look upwards, we'll have a camera there. And I might actually adjust that a little because that's a little far to the left. So now we can look around, see what our drone sees from our right eye. And then, of course, independently, we can steer our drone around. So that's most of the build. I'm just going to temporarily unweld this while I'm uh, working on it. So something else that we want to do here is we want to add a gun to our camera so that we have something we can look around and shoot with. So to do that, we're going to load it. And then I have the remote weapons mod enabled, which means if I go and I make sure I select Boneworks, grab a gun, go over to my keyboard and press forward slash and shoot that gun is now registered so what happens is if I press my right thumbstick in it will remotely fire all registered guns so we're gonna add this gun uh, attached to our camera here so that wherever we're looking we're able to shoot uh, independent of our drone flying now for this it should be easier to throw this upside down just grab our tablet here because we can adjust the angle of our camera using it. And we just want to say, let's see. We want to say, with our drone. Oh, that's weird. You can't tip it upside down. It always ends up right way up. Um... Okay, well, that is an upside-down camera there anyways, so that'll do. So we just put that like that, grab our gun, and a welder, and we just fix weld to the camera. And yeah, try and get this as straight as you can. So we'll use the extra utilities mod to deflate it. Like so. And then it won't be as uh, as much of a hassle. And it still fires just the same. Okay, so that's that part done. Let's flip this drone back up. Now on second thought, we might actually want to put that gun um, on the side of the camera while it's small and then it's just not gonna collide with stuff all the time. So that's pretty easy to do. We just uh, unweld. And we can use a dev manipulator to just carefully move the gun. And of course we can uh, just set that down there. 
We're gonna grab it from around that angle. Fixed weld. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Let's see what we can see from our tablet. So yeah, now we can see our gun. And we can shoot it. Angle might be a little off, but it is it is what it is. <laughs> we gotta, gotta take some L's while we're building this. Okay, so we've got our thrust, we've got our independent camera view, we've got our controls. I'd say that's about it. One thing we might do here though is we might actually say we want some thrusters on the back so that we can move forwards just a little bit. So something like that. Select it. And then yeah, we're pretty much ready to go. So we can take our our little screen here and we can just weld it so that it's following our head around. And I guess we'll orient it so the gun's on the right side just because that feels a little more natural. So we'll say fixed weld from there onto here. Now we can look around, easy peasy. And then we can take our controls, hold them independently, and uh, we should be ready to fly. Now one thing is we do actually want to make sure that our settings are good. We'll just say thrusters, and we'll set our force to just the bare minimum, 100 on acceleration mode. And that should be pretty good. So now we can start flying around. And we can look around while flying and control our drone. Alright, well, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, hope it gave you some fun ideas. I'll see you in the next one and hopefully that's not in too long of a wait. Later!